I moved to New York in 1984, and I've always had a vision of myself as a composer. 1990 was the first year I really made a living as, I made enough money as a musician where I didn't have to work a day job. And I was working at a bookstore at the time as an assistant manager. And I actually, um, th I got fired. Um, I th threw some books at my manager, Boston. And then I just decided not to get another job. So I was kind of forced to really start getting work as a musician. And, you know, it was very rough in the beginning, but I, I just stuck with it. When you're playing well, you, you know, you, you know you're tapping into something divine. And that's what all of this is about, to um, tap into the deeper layers of consciousness and then to have something to give because you've tapped in to that part of the um, cosmi cosmos. I mean, it's just propagated out into the cosmos. I mean, it's there, it's sitting there, but you as an artist channel it and then give it over to other people. If you're playing a written composition, the um, challenge is to make it come alive, to make it as, as if when you're sitting at the instrument and playing it, it's even though it's an co old composition, you're trying to make it come alive in the moment as if it's growing out of your brain then. And um, the challenge as an improviser is to have something spontaneous, but have it have the same type of logic and coherence that people associate with a, a, a so-called composition. When you say music, you know, there's a lot of things that are put under that category. I mean, to me, it's vibrations. And all, it's, it's an area of human activity that we seem to need. I mean, human beings seem to need music. All I know is that I, I feel the need and a calling to do a certain thing. And I try to translate um, the energy of the cosmos onto an instrument that they call a piano. That's all I know.